Hello everyone, my name is Inez. I hope that you are keeping very well. I just have a word of the Lord for somebody who is struggling today. Um, where the enemy is coming in like a flood from every single corner, from left, right, everywhere. And it's bringing you down. Well, here is the word of the Lord for you. So Father, in Jesus' name, Lord, I just thank you for those who are here to receive this message. May they be blessed and edified and delivered and set free and comforted by you, Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, take over these words and amen. So the word of the Lord that God gave me today was those who are struggling, whether it's through grief, uh, there's a problem in your marriage, your family, your workplace, your ministry, your job, your business. Maybe it's coming from everywhere. There's something going on. Maybe it's even your health. And God is saying, remember Elijah. And we see in First Kings when Elijah was challenging the prophets of Baal. And he called fire down. You can read that for yourself. And we see what happened there. But then there was a problem. There was Jezebel. Now Jezebel came with her threats. And spoke against him. That his day was coming. And he fled. And he got depressed. And he's just after coming out of this mighty battle. And all of a sudden he's getting attacked. So he flees. And there's an angel there. God sent an angel to, to strengthen Elijah. But Elijah went by himself. So sometimes we need to get away by ourselves. Sometimes you need to disconnect yourself from everyone to spend that time with God. But then he ended up in a cave. And that's where God spoke to him. God didn't give out to him. God said, what are you doing here? Basically, you shouldn't be here. And he told them to go back down. So that's the word of the Lord for you today. Keep going. And get back down. Fight the good fight. Angels are ministering to you. Rise up. Understand who you are. And don't forget in Isaiah 59, 19. When the enemy comes like a flood, the spirit of the Lord lifts a standard against him. It can come everywhere. And you're trying to fight this way and you're trying to fight that way. You're trying to calm things, you're trying to fix things, nothing's working and then that's finished and just like Elijah, something else happens and it's one after another. All of a sudden someone turns on you for no reason. And it can be discouragement, you can get spiritually tired, spiritually heavy, you know. So there's times that like Elijah, you do find yourself where you disconnect and you go, maybe you just want to be quiet, you just want to get away from things and that can be okay sometimes. You know, that religious spirit, you know, that happened to me when I lost somebody before, you know, crying. I was crying and someone said, where's your fate? You know, you know where he is. And you're thinking, what the, what's wrong with people sometimes, you know? So there's times you have to, you know who you are in Christ. There's times you have to drown out voices that you shouldn't be listening to. Turns, little foxes, you need to cancel them. There's times that you need to go and get refreshed in the Lord. You hide under the shadow of his wings and let him restore you. And that's what he does. And then we have in Isaiah 60, God says, Arise, shine, your light is come. The glory of the Lord is risen upon you. For behold, darkness shall cover the earth, gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon you and his glory will be seen upon you. You know, these things, they seem like they'll never end. No matter what it is you're going through. And what the enemy will do is he'll bring that spirit of heaviness, that spirit of doubt, that spirit of loneliness, that spirit of giving up, that spirit of even wanting to commit suicide sometimes. You know, and that's the plan of the enemy. So he wants you to back out. He wants you not to come down from that cave. He wants you to stay away. He wants to silence God's people. But you need to encourage yourself in the Lord. Amen. So even though it's a time that God is blessing his people. Like I said before, we have an enemy and you need to be alert because you come in all different ways. Sometimes he comes in like the flood everywhere. 
to the point where you flee and you can't take it anymore. But you need to understand that God is with you and God is for you. And let me finish up with this. In Psalm 5 says, Give ear to my words, Lord, consider my meditation. Hearken to the voice of my cry, my King, my God. For unto you will I pray. My voice shall you hear in the morning. O Lord, in the morning I will direct my prayer to you and I will look up. For you are not a God that has pleasure and wickedness, neither shall evil dwell within you. The foolish shall not stand in your sight, nor hate. Uh, you hate the workers of iniquity. You shall destroy them that speak least, and the Lord shall abhor the bloody and deceitful man. But as for me, I will come into your house in the multitude of your mercy, and in thy fear will I worship towards thy holy temple. Lead me, O Lord, in thy righteousness because of my enemies. Make my way straight before your face. For there's no faithfulness in their mouth, in their inward part they're very wicked, and their throat is an open sculpture. They flatter with the, their tongue, destroy them, O God. Let them fall by their own counsels, cast them out in the multitude of their transgressions, for they have rebelled against you. But let all those that trust in you, Lord, rejoice. Let them ever show for joy, because you defend them. Let them also that love you be joyful in you. For you, Lord, you bless the righteous with favour. You surround them like a shield. Amen. God is for you. And just like Elijah, you might think you're by yourself in a cave. You might think, where is the end of this? The sickness, the battle, the struggle, the haters, people with false accusations, people turning against you, family turning against you, people making up stuff about you, business not working. I decree and declare, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, an end to this storm, an end to this shaking, an end to the arrows, the fiery darts of the wicked, they're cancelled now. Every spirit of death is cancelled now in the name of Jesus Christ. No weapon of war formed against you will prosper. Every tongue that rises against you in judgment condemn. Now in the name of Jesus Christ, I speak peace to your situation, peace to your mind. The enemy is losing. He will not win. You are a child of the Most High God. You need to rise up, keep going, get down from that cave and keep going. The enemy is the one who's the defeated foe. You're the one who's more than a conqueror. You need to understand that and drown out all of the voices. Get away from certain things that you shouldn't be listening to because people will want to drag you down. Amen. But you're a winner. You're more than a conqueror. So whoever this word is for, you need to receive it, that God is for you and his favour surrounds you like a shield. So get up and keep going in Jesus Christ's name. God bless you.